welcome to Desert Owl Crafting. How are you today? I hope you all are having a great Monday and that you had a wonderful Mother's Day weekend. We didn't really do anything. I just stitched and watched TV and we were going to go out to dinner, but I live in a small town and there um, are not, I mean, there's a lot of, not a lot, but there's restaurants and on a holiday, they're just too crowded. So we're going to go out to dinner tonight instead. Heard from my kids. They live out of state and that's always nice. I hope that your day went well and that um, you're having a great week so far for Monday, May 15th. Wow, time's just flying by. What I have for you today are a couple cross stitch kits that I got from Biggest Craft. Love Biggest Craft. And they were kind enough to send me these kits for review. If you haven't been to Biggest Craft, you really, 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 really need to check them out because they are another one of those online stores that specialize specifically in cross stitch. You're not going to find diamond paintings or other kinds of crafts. They're just specifically cross stitch. And the way they do their site is great. And I'll tell you about that more as we go along. But before we start, um, a huge hello to all my subscribers and my new subscribers. Thank you so much for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. Uh, subscribe. Think about subscribing if you haven't already. And let's get going on this. So I have two cross stitch kits here. I'm just going to go ahead and I cut the bag open. I'm just going to take them out of the bag. And this first one, these are Joy Sunday kits. And as you can see, I'll try to get closer. Recognize those characters? I'm going to take this out of the bag so we don't get the, the glare. I thought this was really cute. It's a 14 count, a 30 by 46 centimeter. We'll go ahead and measure that too. Comes in the wonderful reusable pouch with the wonderful instructions on the back. If you're new to cross stitching, anything you need to know about cross stitching is back here, including how to soak the dye out of your fabric and diagrams. We'll see what kind of stitches this requires. Great helpful tips, how to pick your colors. These are the best instructions, aren't they? Okay, so here we go. Let's see if I can get a little bit closer for you to see. But I thought this was really, really cute. We've got all these characters. It's called Alice's Gallery. This has cotton fabric, cotton thread. I thought that would be really fun to do. It's just so cute. Ooh, what's wrong with my focus? Really, really cute. All right, let's look and see what we got here. Okay, so this is going to have just an incredible amount of cross stitching. I mean, back stitching on it. Maybe I'm a little too close. Let me go out. Sorry about that. Okay, so this is going to have back stitching galore everywhere. But it will just totally enhance and complete this picture. Very, very nice pattern. I think I would do do the square outlines first everywhere, and then I think I will do would do a design, complete that, and then do the back stitching before I moved on, so that I'd have each square complete as I go. Thirty colors, and let's see one two three six back stitching colors. So we have the number of our floss on our organizer the symbols that correspond, and the DMC codes. And then we have French knots. We have six French knots. So I don't really like French knots. I think this is another example of using like all these little dots on the flower border. U. Is that going to be? It has a U in the middle. Let's see. What is that? I'm wondering if those are going to be the French, French knots. I think I might use beads. Very, very pretty. Very nice. And it's not super big either, which I like a lot. 
So here is the actual fabric. It's got your legend all the way along the bottom and both sides. It's 128 stitches wide by 208 stitches tall. This kit and the next kit I'm going to show you. At Biggest Craft you have the option of getting this in stamped or counted. So they do give you a choice. And I thought that was great. Okay, so these little guys that we were just looking at, the little red dots, on here they're green and green is French knots, so that would be, I think that would look real pretty with some, some shiny beads on there. So we have our product number up at the top. Good to know in case you need to get a hold of customer service. All your edges here are very nicely serged. To me that's really important too. It's stiff, but it, it gets soft. And don't be afraid of rolling it up, scrunching it up, balling it up. It's not going to hurt anything. But what will hurt something is wet hands or liquid because this is all dye and then when you're done with this you will soak this in water and it will all come off. So if by chance you have an accident or something happens and you, you touch this and the dye smears, that's when you would refer back to this pattern. The symbols on the pattern do not match the symbols on this canvas. So keep this handy. Some of, like the generic kits we see, those symbols do match up between the two, but they don't with these kits, the Joy Sunday kits. Biggest Craft also has um, everything categorized. So if you just want to look at Joy Sunday kits, you can. If you just want to look at um, spring kits, you can. And they have also now included DIY cross stitch. So if you don't really care for those kits, then you you can avoid them because they are now marked. But if you love those kits, you can just look at those kits too. They have a lot of tools, accessories. You can get a custom. So if you want to upload your photo to them, then they'll make get a cross stitch kit made for you. I'm working on one of those right now. And they have uh, cross stitch crafts, which are always really nice. So this is really, really cute. I love the fact that it's not really big. Let's take a measurement here to see what the actual picture size is. So it's oh uh, nine and a half inches across by just under 15 inches high. So it's a good size and I think it'll just be adorable. I think it'll turn out really nicely. The symbols are very clear on here, the printing, everyone staying in their own square. You've got it gridded on the top and bottom just like you'll find on your pattern. And if you're new to cross stitch, you can start this wherever you want. You don't have to start in the middle or, you know, I jump around a lot. Just do you, do you whatever, how it, whatever way you want to do it. Now let's look at the floss. We've got two needles here. I like these floss cards because you've got the product number already on it. It reminds you that it's 14 count. And then your floss here, here's your floss numbers right here. This row, the, this is the DMC codes. And then they tell you how much floss they give you for each color. So being that this isn't super big, you're not getting big, huge hanks of floss, but you've got all the colors here, some really pretty reds and yellows and greens. And then on this side, we've got blues, more greens and whites. And this is also a partial kit. So you don't need to do this background or the white behind all these things here. And I do like this kit also has the back stitching marked. So you see all these lines, that's all backstitching. They've even marked it on the actual uh, little square pictures themselves, but once you get that cross stitched, I don't think you, you would not be able to see that. But I think it's a huge help that they have these. This marked all the way around the border. I think that's a great idea. I'm glad they did that because the one thing about backstitching is having to refer back to this pattern just continually. 
to see where you got to go next. And with it already on here, I just think that's awesome. So this is a really cute kit. It was $6.99. So you've got your whole kit here, everything you need except for some scissors for $6.99. I love that about Biggest Craft. They are very budget friendly. They even have a, a sale area and cross-stitch kits I think as low as $3.99 or $99. Free shipping over $50. And they also have a special. So if you, I think it's 18% off. I clicked on it t twice, so I missed I missed it um, to see exactly what it was. So when you first go to their website, um, a box will pop up on the screen, and it'll tell you what their current discounted special is. So keep your eye open for that, because who doesn't love a discount, right? Especially as expensive as everything is. Okay, now this is my other kit. This is a sampler, and it's just simply called Pattern. So let's take this out of the package. It's also a Joy Sunday kit, 14 count. This one also comes with your choice. You can choose stamped or counted. I love they give you that option. I really, really like that. And the same wonderful instructions on the back. Okay, let's look at this. Oh, here comes my kitty. Now, I do have a bunch of samplers I, I want to do. I have some long, dongs, long dog samplers, but I thought before I started that, I would try to do one like this. This is also a partial, so these big open areas here, you will not cross stitch. And my goodness sakes, this is big. I wasn't paying attention to size, obviously. But I think this is really, really pretty. And we're going to look at the at the fabric before we look at the pattern because I messed up. So up here you've got your item num product number. Everything is completely gridded, surged along the edges. Nice, clearly printed. So we've got the alphabet up here at the top. Then we've got pretty designs. And then we move down and let's see what we have. It says wrought by my hand. Now, I think it would have been nice if that could have been more centered in the middle. And then more de pretty designs down here. That kind of reminds me, oh, sorry. That kind of reminds me of a snowflake a bit. Fabric stiff, but like I said, you could just, you know, bunch it up and try to, it will soften up as you go. So let's look at the pattern for this one, and then we'll do a measurement. This pattern has a lot of pages, too. 12 pages. Wow. So you've got some backstitching in this area, and it's the backstitching for like that is not marked on the canvas. Let's see if I can get this so you can see it. So that backstitching is underneath those alphabet letters. It will go all in here and it's not marked on the canvas like the last one was. And then you've got back stitching for your numbers here to finish the numbers. Here you've got the actual <clears throat> photo of the of the picture and then they've broken it up here into page numbers. So if you're looking for specific part of this picture just you could find the page number without having to thumb through and we have a lot of colors here we have 31 colors we have french knot colors and we have i'm not even going to count we have a whole lot of back stitching colors here a whole lot nice nice uh, paper you can write on this I just think this is really, really pretty. A little cute little bird and butterfly. Let's see, where are those at? Yeah, here we go. Here's the bird. And there's the butterfly, little trees. I just think that's really pretty. I think 
this will be a nice easy one to do with the exception of how big it is. Let me see if I can get a measurement on the size of this. It's almost too big for my desk here. So it is 278 stitches across, which is the actual picture. It's about 19 and 3 quarters. So I'm thinking that vertically it's about 20 and a quarter. So it's almost square, not quite really big. But I love it. I love it. Let's look at the, the floss that comes with it. Two needles. Product number. And then all the, this is my favorite thread organizer. It's all the information you need. Beautiful greens. Let's take a look. So we've got some black, different colors of gold and brown. I love that color green. It's like a, a, a dark olive. More green. Some purples and mauves. Very muted colors. These are not the bright jewel colors. These are the muted colors. And they're very, very pretty. I have um, yet to run out on on floss and if you don't happen to have any in your stash or in your collection you can always <clears throat> excuse me um, contact customer service biggest craft has great customer service and they will help you out with that let them know but make sure you include that item number here's a, a better photo of it I just, just think this is so pretty and it, it really makes me happy. Um, it will be very good to do this because it's, it's not a full coverage thing. You've got all these areas where you don't have to stitch at all, which should make it go a lot quicker. So please just also always keep in the back of your mind about wet hands because I've made that mistake without realizing it. So this is another pretty pretty kit from Biggest Craft. I would like to thank them for sending me these items for review. Please let me know if you have worked on these kits, if you've done any of these kits. I'd like to know how they turned out. I just think they're so pretty. And they're just something different from the usual kits. And that's what I keep my eye open for. I try, I spend a lot of time going through these sites trying to find things that are just, you know, a little bit different than what we normally see. So that's why I picked out these two. I really, really like them. I hope you liked them too. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll be talking to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.